Something that I say over and over again is that I lean more fiscally conservative and more socially liberal. Now, the social liberal things are easy, you know, with abortion and gay marriage and social safety net type of things, to some degree. I agree more with the left. But when it comes to the economy, I think that the conservatives are much closer to the right side of things. And this website has a great data set to prove that point. So this is each state ranked by the burden of regulatory practices for businesses. So the top of the list is least burdensome, the bottom of the list is most burdensome. Now, just one through 10, you know, you got India, North Dakota, Texas, Kansas, Georgia, Virginia, Mississippi, South Dakota, Florida, Missouri, Tennessee. For the most part, those are all usually conservative states. You got a few purple states in there like Virginia and Florida. And then go to the bottom of the list, yeah, California, New Jersey, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Vermont, Maine, Oregon, Hawaii, Washington, New York. So, you know, you got the most liberal states at the bottom of this and some of the most conservative states at the top of this list. So this is as objective as you could get. And I know I'm really reaching for the moon here, but I really want people who feel more passionately about the liberal side of things to at least see a little bit more eye to eye with me on this one. Because because like I always say, I, I'm not afraid to admit that I was wrong about something. You know, I always want to be on the right side of things. I'll, I'll never double down on something if I feel that I'm wrong about it. But the fact of the matter is that Democrat run states often make things very difficult for small businesses because of the regulatory practices. Now, don't get me wrong, I can criticize Republicans all day. I hate 90% of the Republicans and 90% of the Democrats in Congress right now, but it's very, very easy to criticize Democrats when it comes to the economy because they strangle small businesses with regulation, licensing. There's a chart in this website that goes much deeper into detail of why this is the case. And I'll show that in a future episode. It would be too long if I did that in this one, but pretty much it shows how there's much more licensing required and fees that go towards, you know, government rules or, you know, social spending. So they just chip away at the small business owners, one little fee and requirement at a time. Whereas in a place like Texas, for example, they're very deregulated, don't need a whole lot to start a business, but going too far in that direction also has its problems because you could risk having unqualified people doing work that could end up being a hazardous situation. So as I always say, there's no perfect solutions, but just trade-offs and we have to decide what trade-off is the best or honestly what middle ground is the best because I don't think going completely in one direction is ever a good thing, but I definitely do not like the concept of siphoning off money from small businesses to the government because the government is not very good at spending and it's already difficult enough to start a small business without all the regulations and fees and licensing requirements. So to anyone who feels like they're very much on the democratic liberal side of things, I really want you guys to engage in the comments on this one and let me know how you feel about this because I'm really trying to find common ground with both sides here. You know, I'm, my name's Relentless Independent. That's because I, at my core, I hate both sides, like what they truly represent because I think they're both severely flawed because they both go too far in the direction they're trying to go in. So yes, I'll say that over and over again. Economically, see more eye to eye with conservatives and socially see more eye to eye with liberals. And that's not completely eye to eye with either of them just a bit of a lean. And I think a lot of people feel that way. And that's why I want a lot of feedback from people who would identify as a liberal. So really get in the comment section. I want to engage in this one.